<laughs> Whoa there! Did you need something? No, I was just passing by. I didn't think anybody else was here other than Polly. The door opening like that just, it surprised me, that's all. I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, selling tree saplings. Just the usual salesman doing the usual road trip. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, like a FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I get it. You're the special agent Scarface that everyone's... Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. Call me York. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year for, oh, a while now. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. It's so relaxing in these parts, too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed here. <laughs> Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry. He's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. How are you doing? He's pretty smart, too. Oops, before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I said. Uh, thank you. How kind of you. So, what brings the old FBI out here? Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent it from happening again, okay? Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to be the safest in America. Could I ask you something? Do you know a lot about seeds? Seeds? Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb, but let me tell you, though. But you know, once they sprout, you don't need to do much. You can leave it be, and why, it'll turn into a big tree no matter what happens. Kind of like those stocks that politicians buy that just keep growing and growing. Well, you just wait and see. This town is gonna love them. <laughs> right. We were just about to go take a morning stroll, so I'll get going. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. Zack, do you remember what the coffee said? Forrest Kaysen, F. K. This show has just begun.
Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. You do look well rested. Oh, I was up practically all night doing paperwork. Thomas helped me out so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. Diane got back into town late last night. We should give her a visit. Which means going to the art gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there, so it's the only place to find her. The gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Time for some art appreciation. Cultural activity in such a small countryside town. Amazing, Zach. liked the building so much she turned it into an art gallery. She left the exterior untouched and had the insides redone. So she's rich. She bought this place, didn't she? Does that answer your question? Indeed it does. Well, George, Emily, I want to talk with Diane alone. Will you wait here for me? Uh, don't tell me you still don't trust us. No, that's not it. But this is very important to me. I always make sure that I meet with the important ones, one-on-one. -on -one. Otherwise, it's difficult to sense the subtle reactions of the suspect. This is just how I do things, and I'd appreciate your understanding. But, go on then. You're not going to listen to us anyway, are you? Well then, Zach, let's go and meet Lady Diane. Hello? Hello? No reply. Let's take a look around then, Zack. Hello, Olivia. Do you like art? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, I mean... I like trees. Trees. Okay. Ah, but I see because these are all tree paintings. Do you come here often, then? Oh, uh, well... No. Just sometimes. I'm sorry, I really need to get back to the diner. Zach, she was lying about something. She said trees, not paintings of trees. She doesn't need to come here to see trees. There's tons of trees outside. 